the moon. A place so hard to reach that it seemed impossible ever to travel to. Nonetheless, in 1969, Apollo 11 managed to land on the moon, and what followed would be the historic first steps of a human on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But it would not be until Apollo 13 that the astronauts were actually given the mission to carry out the first scientific experiments on the moon. Sadly, the Apollo 13 mission would end up as a failure and a new team of astronauts had to be put together. This resulted in the creation of Apollo 14, a crew of three men that included Alan Shepard, Stuart Rusa, and Edgar Mitchell. The highly trained astronauts started their nine day long journey on the 31st of January, 1971, and departed with the objective of analyzing lunar rocks, carrying out several experiments, and to perform what would be remembered as the first Lunar Olympics. Even though they had some weather and docking problems, the launch was a success, and everything would go as planned until they reached the lunar orbit. Once they reached the lunar orbit and began the preparations to descend to the surface of the moon, one of the computers began to send one signal that nobody wanted to see. The abort switch was malfunctioning, and if this continued, the lunar descent would be too risky and probably trigger the abort signal, which would send them back to lunar orbit. To the astronauts' relief, NASA contacted the person who knew the Apollo guidance system the best. They called the then 27-year-old computer specialist named Don Isles, and in only two hours, he solved what seemed impossible for the entire NASA computer specialist. After Don Isles' historic acts, the team of astronauts successfully landed on the surface of the moon, and after two moonwalks, the gathering of several lunar rocks, and a few more experiments, Shepard decided to have some fun and revealed something that surprised everyone. During a short pause after a wind experiment, Shepard went to the spacecraft and took out two golf balls and a six iron golf club head. He then attached the golf club head to the handle of a lunar excavation tool and quickly built his own golf club. Shepard somehow managed to smuggle the golf equipment onto the spacecraft and when he had the chance, he didn't hesitate to have some swings on the moon. Due to the fact that his exosuit greatly limited his movement, he had taken several one-handed swings. Nonetheless, he claimed that one of the balls traveled for miles and miles. Shepard, however, wasn't the only one to have some fun on the moon. His crew member, Edgar Mitchell, joined Shepard and performed the first and only javelin throw on the moon. He took the staff that had been previously used in the wind experiment and threw his improvised javelin as far as he could. Even though Shepard claimed that his ball had traveled miles and miles, it was later calculated that the golf ball actually traveled around one mile, and surprisingly both the ball and the staff landed almost next to each other. This would mean that the two astronauts were now the unofficial record holders of the longest drive and the furthest javelin throw in human history. Nonetheless, this would be one of the last things they did on the moon, as the astronauts would leave the moon's surface only a few minutes later. The crew then finally made it back to Earth on the 9th of February, 1971, and would go down in history as the third manned mission that successfully went to the moon and returned to Earth. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe for more weird and awesome content.